All right, Ryan here in downtown San Diego. Hey, some of the people are joining. Awesome. Okay, so I'm just, oh, I got my fish eye on. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Um, I'm going to walk through, hopefully you guys can see the back there. There's the, the uh, green market. Hey, what's, on? what's up, coffee, coffee gatherings. Um, hey, Bill, Florida Plunge. So I'm going to walk through. Okay, let me just go here. Hey, hey, if you're new, type the word new in. So um, let's see. Looking fly today. What's up, guys? So check this out. So I'm going to walk through the, uh, the green market here in downtown San Diego. It's probably one of the best. Um, sup, dude? So check it out. It's packed. But check it out. They have all kinds of like really good food. No, no selfie stick. This is my, um, this is my fish eye lens. Um, that's why you know, I was saying this yesterday. Actually, hey. Hey, what's up, AJ? So this is what's really, see, check that out. Look at all this amazing stuff here. So check it out, like amazing like sunflowers and all kinds of like really good organic food. Topanga, what's up? Hey, selfie arms, right? So the reason why you're able to hear me is because I'm using my, my lav mic. There's a lot of sound going on out here and there's some wind. But um, what's really cool is and it's packed. Check this out. Look at that. Like, there's a ton of people here. Hey, from Buenos Aires, what's up? What's that gadget you today? So if you want any of this stuff, just go to Periscope Brian. Um, so right now, let me just tell you. So I'm, I have a uh, digital marketing agency down in downtown San Diego. And, um, you know, the topic for today on this scope is, is how do you know when to deliver what you're saying? And uh, actually right now is the time for me to deliver it. Uh, is because I've kind of peeked out at the, uh, the number of people that are actually on the scope. And uh, so the way that you know, and so just so you know, I, I teach uh, brands and businesses how to really crush it online with uh, live streaming. And also uh, just, um, I also teach, I, I, uh, I'm a digital marketer. So basically what, uh, what I'm talking about today is how do you know when to deliver your content? Well, the way you know is when you see the, the number of people on your scope maxed out at a certain level. And so right now I've seen it hover at around like 34, 35. Um, look at these guys playing stickball. It's pretty cool. Stickball live right there. How cool is that? Just started, so had for a month. So this is what's so cool is that you can, uh, so now it's, it's actually jumping up again. And, and I had this question actually from somebody that, uh, that is in my live stream blueprint. And uh, he had asked, he said, you know, hey, how do I, how do I know when to actually start talking about whatever's in my topic. And uh, so you see these guys playing stickball back here, which is really cool. I'm downtown at the farmer's market. Yeah, love inspired. I remember stickball, isn't that cool? So um, that's how you know when to actually start delivering your content, um, is when you, ha you see the, the number of people rising in, the, uh, in your scope, that's when you, uh, yo, what's up? Alex, you're new here. Okay, if you're new, then, uh, then just uh, go ahead and follow. I give tips and tricks on how to how to make live stream work for you. You can see these guys here. These, all these guys are, are watching me. They're like, "What the heck is this guy doing?" Um, there's tons of people around here. Look at this. This goes that way, and then it goes that way as well. Yeah, it's an awesome day. So Darcy's back there doing some stuff. Let's watch these guys playing stickball. It's really cool. Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna watch this guy hit it. Check it out. See this guy warming up? I wanna... Most, watch this guy. First, I need a selfie stick. So check this guy. All right, hold on, let's see this guy hit it. Good old stick ball. Never heard of stick ball, this is old school. Boom, oh man. <laughs> specific gadget you are using. Okay, so I'm using the, um, Rachel, I'm using the, uh, here, I'll show you. So I'm using the Olo Clip, and I'm using the, uh, the Rode Smart Law Plus, so I'm actually, it looks like I'm using a selfie stick, but I'm not. I'm actually just using the Olo Clip, and, uh, I don't know, um, why this guy is over here in the car. Crash, there goes a window. You can talk about related side info and tell you, yeah, so really cool, huh, guys? This is beautiful down here. This is actually my favorite, one of my favorite places to eat at. This this place right here, Queenstown, it's awesome. 
So um, anyway, I better go find Darcy. Um, unless you guys want to see, oh, check this juice out. Hold on. Selfie stick arm, exactly. The green fix, nice. I'm gonna try some of that. All on Periscope, we got like 40 people on. It's amazing, thanks Ryan. Just got my 4 one old clip, how cool is that? If you really wanted to, you could go and interview every one of these people right here. So you talk about, you know, like being able to... Shailene Pole Show, I don't know. Um, you guys, I'll show you some more of this amazing food. We could actually interview some of these people if we really wanted to. I mean, you can see there's tons of people here. Um, I lost my road smart log plus, I fell down a cliff, oh no. So um, can you guys still hear me pretty well? So give me a thumbs up if you guys can hear me pretty well. Look at these amazing flowers, check this out. Look at this, oh, all organic stuff. Interviewing, because fame, yeah, that's why. That's why I use these. Can hear you great, people seem to like you to say hi and talk before content delivery, yeah, exactly. So. We can hear you. Were you in the military? No. Um, is the fisheye? Yeah, so I'm using the fisheye. Here, I'll show you. So this is actually the clip that I'm using. This is the fisheye, and this is the uh, ultra-wide-angle lens right here. So um, just wanted to, I'm actually in, the, in Little Italy in uh, downtown San Diego. And you can see we've got all kinds of, all these places have awesome vegetables, and you never know who will be your next big connection exactly. So um, anyway, so just to re just to recap really quick, that's a really good tip for people is to recap every once in a while. Um, <clears throat> yeah, you can see the world. I mean, this is live. I mean, this is what's so cool about this. People she pulled don't want you to wait until Scoper gets a certain number. Um, okay. Well, I mean, I, here's here's I I wait until it gets because what I do is I introduce myself and I talk about certain things. Um, and I, what I do is I just see, I look and I see when the number gets to, it, it levels off. That's just, that's just what I do. Um, all right. So that's just, that's basically what I do. And, um, and, and so, I mean, I'm not saying that, you know, that people, you know, that's what you should do. I'm just saying that that's what I do because I want to make sure that I at least get people in the room until at least I get some leveling off of the number of people. I'm doing really good today. Thanks, Bustra. It works for me. It does. No problem. And, and you know what? I'm not saying you wait until like, I mean, here's the thing. You can usually get, you know, usually everybody that's going to jump in the room and it level, it, the leveling off happens in about like probably like two to three minutes. So, so anyway, if you're new, go ahead and uh, follow. Um, anyway, so just to recap, my name is Ryan Steinelson and I do... Uh, I do scopes about how to how to crush it online with with live stream and digital marketing, and I'm down here in downtown San Diego in Little Italy at the farmers market. And uh, the, the tip that I was given today is when you want to actually deliver your content. And and I I actually um, I what I do is I just wait until I at least get some leveling off in terms of the number of people, and then I'll do what I just did, which is recap again. And that usually takes anywhere between one and two minutes anyway. Um, I suggest introducing yourself first. Oh yeah, of course. That's what I do. The first thing I do is I, I introduce myself and I say, and I say that my name is Ryan and I talk about, I, first, first thing I do actually is I say that tap the screen for hearts if you're watching the replay. So that's the first thing that I do. First, first thing. <laughs> nice, Ed. Glad it has. Or I think it's, I think it's a, it happens. Just build your tribe and follow. So anyway, so now I'm on the on the other side of the. Uh, Darcy's back there, actually talking to her friend. I don't know if you can see her back there, but um. So anyway, hope that makes sense, guys. Thanks. I will exactly love that. That's super smart. Lots of people don't know you can tap for hearts for yeah, from replays. Exactly. So I always tell replay viewers because you know the last thing you want to do is just be sitting there like right from the beginning, waiting for somebody to jump in. That's the last thing you want to do. Rachel, no doubt. Um, it's like you're scoping about what you're currently scoping about. It's a paradox, right? It is. But um, that's, the way, that's the way it goes. So now you can see, look at these awesome pretzels and stuff. You can see all the people here. So this is what's really cool. And I also, <clears throat> good stuff, thanks. 
I didn't see who that was. Are you holding a camera eye level? Or I'm sliding, I'm holding it higher. Um, that's a great question. The reason why is because I want you guys to be able to see what's going on behind me and make it much more engaging that way. People stay, eyeballs stay, if on what you're doing, if there's if if it's exciting and if there's other things going on. Do you think lots of people are still learning Perry and needing basics? Yeah, I do, because I still get questions. Um, that's why Alex Pettit and all those guys are crushing it, because that's why they have 150,000 people. I'm using the fisheye, yes. It's the old clip fisheye. Um, and you can go to Periscope Ryan if you want any of these links, like the links for the for the uh, microphone that, that allows me to basically, for you guys to hear me now, because you wouldn't be able to hear me. Like, I don't know if you just heard that siren. Um, oh, we missed Burning Man. Who was that? I know, right? So I don't know if you heard that siren, but you probably would not have been able to hear me at all if uh, with that going on. To have a following before Periscope too. Yeah, it did. No doubt, Alex. Um, so anyway, Sonia, yeah. I did hear it. So yeah, you could hear it, but you couldn't hear it. Hi, Synth King Kinley. Sound is on fleck. Awesome. Can you unplug mic for a sample? Yes, I can. The, there's the unplugged version, and uh, you can see. Wish you could hang out longer. Need to head out. Okay, Carrie. I'm not. I'm not gonna. So now I. In, and uh, it's great. What's the average cost? The the cost of the mic is uh, is actually around seventy dollars. So um, wow, what a, what a difference. Yes. See, you get it. That's why I've been talking about this for for years now. I mean, I, when I I have a video on YouTube that has over thirty thousand views because I've been using these kind of tools, these gadgets, people call them, for years. I keep waiting for road sale, I know. So there is actually, I've got a, uh, I negotiated a uh, discount code from Patrick at Oloclip, and I believe it's, if I remember correctly, it's Livestream 2015. So if you wanna get an Oloclip, which I think is actually the most important thing um, to have, is to have an Oloclip, you gotta, you know, really I think having an Oloclip is and I'm gonna talk later, by the way, about when you wanna end a scope, and I'll give you a hint. I'm not ending the scope, and you'll, and you'll probably notice why. Um, the Audio-Technica is not on par, and the reason why is because there's absolutely no battery necessary for the Rode Smart Lob Plus. It's the Rode, R-O-D-E, if somebody could type it in, Rode Smart Lob Plus. Can you spell both the discount code or the name of your mic? Okay, so it's, if you go to, just go, you guys, just go to Periscope Ryan. Seriously, just go to periscoperyan.com and it's Rode, R-O-D-E. All the links are there and there's a discount code that you can get as well. Want an extra wide lens? Tired of waiting for extra wide? Yes. So I'm actually, here, let me show you the difference. Um, so this is actually the, uh, the ultra wide lens. So you see how much clearer that is? Isn't that great? Because I don't have a pen. Yeah, just go to, go to Periscope Ryan or what you can do is you can text the word Periscope to 5885. Okay? Thanks, Alex. No battery. That's the beauty. I, run, I have burned out so many of those stupid little batteries. It's just another thing to have to keep track of, and it's a pain in the butt. It's a pain in the ass. So you do not want to get this. I would highly recommend that you do not get that, that mic. Okay? I mean, I, I've used, I've spent thousands of dollars and, and hundreds of hours testing out all this stuff. And that's the reason why Periscope Ryan is so valuable is because you know what to get right off the bat. I mean, I've done all the testing. So um, it's 5885, 58885. Text the word Periscope. Thanks, Ask Abby. So that's how you can thank you. Such a great tip. You bet, Rachel. So this is, and also if you guys want to learn how to, um, to really scope and, and make money scoping, go to livestreamblueprint.com as well. Um, oh, sorry, I missed that. I missed that comment. Some, you said you wanted me to talk about something else. So go to livestreamblueprint.com, or you can text the word blueprint to five triple eight five in order to learn more about how to, um, you know, how to how to basically make money using livestream for your business or your brands. Because what we'll do and what we do is we actually set up a landing page and a and a system just like yeah, just like you see there with the Periscope or the Blueprint. So you get a text opt in and everything by the end of the four weeks. And it's actually free for right now, and I'm gonna be wrapping it up in three weeks. We just had our first meeting the other day. Perry meetup in SoCal, yeah, it'd be awesome. I have uh, 18 out because I have distance. Okay, good. Okay, so awesome. So I'm just using my, um, 
my arm here so you guys can actually see. But if we have Audio Technica, will it be okay until? Yeah, of course, of course. You can use the Audio Technica. I'm just saying that uh, I can't see two go RJ Beauty. Wow, thanks. Um, just go ahead. If you really like the tips, just go ahead and uh, retweet or favorite this and follow. Uh, Ryan, let's do a meetup. Let's definitely do that. Sonia, uh, even a one shot like Florida Ryan. Okay, so see now again to, later on. I'm going to be talking about when you actually wrap a scope up and what the best time is. So just to summarize, again, my name is Ryan. I teach I teach businesses and brands how to how to make uh, how to crush it using live stream. How to get more customers. There's so much to know and learn. Great info. And um, and this is just you know this is just this is how I do it. So. Um, and, and today, I, you know, the, the recommendation that I have for you guys is to, is to actually start delivering your message when you see the number of people level off at a certain level. Um, hey, Feline, do you know to tell stories and scope? For st I didn't see that. Great tips and fantastic advice. Thanks, Serena. And if you're not following, go ahead and follow. And if you really like the information, go ahead and favorite the tweet. Got to go. Okay, hi, Synth. Finley. Uh, Thanks. Oh yeah, how to end. I'm going to tell you guys how to end it and when to end it. All right, Boostra, thanks for hanging. And you can see we got, so I'm going to flip this around and I'll show you the difference. Here's the fisheye. Okay, do you tell stories and scopes or stick to tips? I tell stories as well um, over time. I, 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 do tell, I do tell some stories. Thanks, Smerix, for the saying that you like the tips. So let me just tell you what I what I do um, today. By the way, all I do, just so I'm like, you can see I've got like my backpack on. I'm ready to scope, and all I need is two things really. All I need is my Olo clip, and just to just to keep track of the old, just to you know basically maintain my Olo clip and to make sure that the lens doesn't get scratched. I put the Olo clip lens cover on. I put it right in my pocket. And then the only other thing that I have is I have the, uh, the, the uh, I just, I just put my, my road mic, see I just, I just unplugged it and I put it right in my pocket as well. So I've got everything right there, ready to go. Stories important to biz. How do they connect to sales? Great question, Rachel. Absolutely. Stories are critical. It does fit over the case. The Olo clip, I have, I actually got a $20 Olo clip, Olo clip case. You can buy it. By going to periscoperyan.com, you can see all the stuff there. Um, there's a link that takes you right to Oloclip. Those are affiliate links, and by the way, you have to disclose. Um, just if you're going to be selling stuff, you just want to disclose if you have affiliate links as well. So thanks for the hearts, you guys, and um, you can you can probably hear that background noise. Um, what do you think of Yolo Clip? The Yopo Clip? No. Easier to use? It depends. If you don't have an iPhone, then the Yopo Clip is a good is a good solution. Maybe you'd be game to join a blab. Oh yeah, absolutely. Storytelling is huge and you can incorporate it and it does have everything to do with selling. Um, you may need TRS converter. No, you do not need the TRS converter. That's the beauty of the Rode Smart Lab Plus. You do not need it. It is a TRRS microphone. Anyone here have success with Android? Okay, Android, you can actually get the Yopo lens that the other person talked about. Um, and there are Android phones that you can get a Olo clip for. So go to Periscope Ryan to find out about all that. Can all this be used on Android? It can't be, um, yes, because all smartphones are TRRS compatible. Is the mic very sensitive to wind noise? That's the beauty, that's why I use the mic, is because I use the mic because it, it, it takes out all of the wind noise. Yes, thanks. AJ67 model. Mine is the LG3. So just go to Yo just yeah, go to Periscope Ryan. I uh, I break it all down there, and um, and you'll see all the all the stuff there. So anyway, I'm gonna jump. Darcy's actually uh, she's long going longer than I thought. You, you can get foam fuzzy mic. That yeah. So that I do have. So that so you, you see how the mic has actually got a, a little fuzzy thing on it. That's what, the, that's what this mic is. So it absorbs all the wind. So you can't hear it. It absorbs all the wind sound. So um, there's Darcy right there. Aww. <laughs> you hear those dogs? So anyway, 
you start delivering when you press start broadcast. Exactly, David. What's up, Dave Shrine? Yeah, no, I don't, Dave. I deliver, I ask immediately. I start immediately and I say, hey, tap the screen for, for, for hearts, for all the replay viewers. And uh, what I do is, is I start giving some information about the topic and I'll wait about a minute for people to start to start coming in, and then I'll, and, and once I see that the number levels off, that's about when I start delivering the content. So, and then I just recap about every five to ten minutes. So um, that's how I do it. And I've seen I've seen you. I know you do it. You know, very similar. So anyway, all right, guys. Dave, what? what? I can't see. Hold on. Sonia, hey Sonia. So in the I was in, Dave Shrine, I tell a brief story and, and then get into it. Yeah, exactly. Tell a brief story and then get into it. And basically what the first thing that I do is I talk about the problem. Okay. Because ultimately it's the, the and this, I got this from David, David Sprague. You want, um, the thing that I do, and I'm not going to look at the comments for right now because I can't really see them, but I deliver what I call, what's called the PETA, the problem, irritate, take away, call to action. That if you structure all of your content that way, you're gonna create great content. So what I start with is I say, look, you know, the problem is is that a lot of people don't really know when to start their, you know, they don't know when to start their scopes. And if you start early, you know, you're not gonna get a lot of people to know what it is that you're talking about. And if you start too late, then then you're gonna a lot of people are gonna miss what you're saying. You don't know how many show up on the replay. Yeah, so so anyway, morning use of, yeah, so that's so that's the problem, and then I irritate it by saying, you know, what's going to happen if the if you don't identify, you know, address the problem, and then I give the takeaway message, I give the answer. So that's similar to what Dave was talking about. Is I, you know, I, I tell a brief story. That's the irritation. So I, I hope that makes sense. Would a preacher do that? I don't know. <laughs> gotcha. Does that make sense, guys? Was that helpful? Now I can see. You guys are having just all these side conversations, Dave. You gotta, Dave. You gotta see this this farmers market, man. Check it out. Yep. Yes, helpful. Good. Where are you? I'm in. I'm in uh, Little Italy. Check it out, David. David, like all like official with you. My tribe knows to show up right away. They miss it if they want. <laughs> That's great. Check it out. Look at all the. Amazing stuff they have here. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Give irritation, take away then. Yes. That's cool, isn't it? Check it out. Look at they have like teas and how sweet is that? There's the city hall. Actually the city hall is right there. Look at that. Right, there's the city hall right there. You see it? Super psyched about using the old clip to interview others. Yeah, right? Yeah. Who is that? It's not you, Dave, is it? Always good stuff, right? Check that out. How cool is that? Someone get a someone get a shot of that. Look at that. Farmers markets. They. This is an awesome farmers market. Anyway, all right, guys. That was fun. I will talk to you here soon. Just to recap, really quick. I uh, I tell a story really right off the bat. We should do a scope market. Yeah, you should. That was me talking using the old clip. Oh yeah, this is what I do. This is how I interview. Look right there. Look at that. Look at all that space I have to interview somebody. This is. I'm just holding this out with my arm. That's why I use the fisheye. That's why I recommend that realtors use a fisheye. So I'm gonna drop off here because you can see that the numbers are are, are dropping down a little bit. So um, and I'll talk about that later when I when I you know how I know when to jump off. Um, and I think you guys have a good idea of when that is. Um, but anyway. Check it out. That's what you want. Bye, Sonia. Love it. Brilliant. Tips, Grazia. Bum to have. Nah, you do. It still works. Rachel, just I just hate that. I hate that battery. All right, guys. Thanks. I think I have a better solution for realtors using Blab, and that's all I'm going to say for right now. So stay tuned, because we got some cool stuff coming for realtors. I think I think Blab is a game changer. Total, total game changer for realtors. When you do an interview, audio, yeah, audio, I do a splitter. I use a splitter. 
So you can actually have two of these Smart Lob Pluses. Yeah, I use two of these Smart Lob Pluses. And there's a splitter. It's called the SC6, that's what you want. Oh, we'll do first blab today, yeah, Rachel. All right, Sonia, all right guys. Lab for Realtors, little teaser. Later guys.